Well, Funko's released yet another line of small Five Nights at Freddy's figures, and I was thinking, for once, it wouldn't be a blind box. Guess again. So, these guys are called the Funko Biddy Pops. As you can see, they are just even smaller than the minis. The whole gimmick is, oh, you buy this box, and there's a shelf in there, and you can kind of build it up. But then I find out... There are mystery figures as well, so I was excited because I thought, oh, I got the complete lineup. Nope, because you can see right here, right? One out of three have Funtime Freddy, one out of three have Nightmare Foxy, one out of six have Springtrap, and one out of six have Nightmare Cupcake. Um, I feel like I shouldn't have to go into why that sucks. Um, because to even get these, you have to get these three preset figures, which means if you want to go complete and you just don't, you don't get just incredibly lucky... You're going to have to go through a lot of repeats if you want the full set. Um, now, I'm not necessarily wanting the full set. I don't really care if I get duplicates. I'm probably just going to give them away to friends. Um, but I, I'm not big on that. I don't like the idea of you have to buy a pre-set assortment. And also, there's a mystery pop. I'd rather there be a set fourth mystery one and you just not tell us who it is. Then it's kind of a surprise, you know? It's fun like that. Um, out of those four, Springtrap and Funtime Freddy are probably the ones I want the most. Don't care about the cupcake. Nightmare Foxy's fine. And, well, then again, that would complete the Nightmare animatronics. That's the thing that sucks, too, is I just realized, oh, if you want to complete any group, save for the original group, you need those mystery biddies. Because you don't have the complete sister location crew without Freddy. You don't have the Nightmares without Foxy. Spring traps on their own, so, to be fair. And then, you don't have all the nightmares, though, Nightmare Cupcake. Okay. Well, that's a bad way to incentivize this. I'm, I'm complaining too much. Let's actually open these guys up, see what they're about. I just realized, since this is technically a blind box, I should probably actually record this. So, as you can see here, like I said, you can stack the shelves up. It's a cute idea. I like the idea of these figures. Do to do So, let's see who our mystery is going to be. And our mi Oh! Huh. So, it's a... It's a blind bag on top of a blind bag, huh? Okay. Mm, how can I get it out? Ah, oh, here we go. There we go. And, oh, okay. Fun time Freddy. Hey, I'm not going to complain about that. Um, here's the shelf. So the shelf is just a little acrylic shelf. If you have, like, a makeup shelf, you're very used to this material. There is Funko up top. And then let's see who all we, of course, got with this set. Um, I don't know if there's like a set order to these, but I'm going to call this set one. So we have Freddy. Here, let me, let me get the light in here more. There we go. We have Freddy. Very good little Freddy. Um, I don't know if these are actually based off the Funko Pops or not. I don't really do Five Nights Funko Pop. But I do like that little Freddy. Good design. Bonnie. Bonnie, very similar to the Freddy, just has their arms out. Looks very cute. Do, do, do. Let's let's get the camera zoomed in too. My word. There we go. There's Freddy again. And like I said, you can see his little microphone, little top hat. Bonnie is good. Of course, Bonnie is my favorite out of those original animatronics. Balloon Boy, which I assume they did that so you can't just get like the complete game one set in one box. Another great way to milk you for cash. But Balloon Boy's good. Looks very good. His painting's a little bit weird in his mouth. I'm not big on that. And then, of course, Fun Time Freddy, who has... Oh, he has Bon Bon on there. He has his microphone. Oh, he's really good looking, actually, because he has little paint apps for, like, his uh, the silver and everything. Oh, that's good. That is very good. Okay. And then you can see a little acrylic stand there. Very solid looking. So that's box one. Let's get into the others now that we kind of have a better idea as to what these should look like. Okay, this is very clearly a sister location box set, which I'm not complaining. I like the sister location, guys. My good friend on YouTube, Rubik's Cube. Shout out to Rubik's Cube. Sister location is their favorite game, if I remember right. At the very least, it's the one they enjoy playing the most. Doop. Okay, let's... Let, 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 let's not stand on ceremony. Oh, well, I can already see who it is. Okay, so we open it up, and yeah, it's Nightmare Foxy. Um, For me, the Nightmare animatronics are kind of hit and miss. 
it kind of depends on the style they're rendered in if I like them or not. Nightmare Foxy is pretty good. I like the the exposed muzzle. Uh, everything and the weathering looks great. So yeah, good job on Nightmare Foxy. Dupe and dupe. Of course, we're about to look at a whole other Foxy, but let's start with... Oh, wait a minute. They come out. So I knew the boxes were plastic, but they come out too. Oh, that's kind of cute. So there's Ballora out of, <laughs> out of the box, I guess. And then that just snaps back in. Wow, that's pretty cool. Can they all do that, or is that just a... Yeah, they can all do that. Okay, Ballora is looser than the others, but hey, okay. So, here's Funtime Foxy. A little too much red on Funtime Foxy. Funtime Foxy is supposed to be a little more pinkish, but good paint overall. I enjoy that. And then you have Baby. Baby has their microphone. I'll be honest, Circus Baby's not my favorite design. I prefer Scrap Baby. It's something about how the hair... Like, they look like Mo Howard with piggy tails, but, you know, that's fine. Doop. And then we can also open up Nightmare Foxy now and get a better look at them. That's pretty good. So, I already really liked that these boxes were plastic, because I was really worried they were going to be cheap cardboard, but that just makes them even better. Here, let's, let's go back and look at our original set, too. <laughs> okay, so... Fun Time Freddy, now that we can get a better look at them. And they have Bon Bon there. Uh, Fun Time Freddy is probably the best one out of these so far, I'll be honest. Oop, come on, come on, there we go. And then Normal Freddy, oop. Microphone is facing downwards, which doesn't look wrong, it just looks strange. Bonnie. Ooh, come on, there we go. Okay. Very good, very basic little Bonnie. And then finally, Balloon Boy. They popped in a good bitty. Oh, wow, the balloon's actually malformed now that I can see it more closely. It's very slight, but that balloon ends in a point. But Balloon Boy looks fine. He looks generally fine. Pull out the acrylic stand. And now we can move on to our next box. All right, we'll just go ahead and call this one the Nightmare Box. And since we have Foxy already, I'm willing to say I now have a complete set of nightmares. I know I don't have the cupcake, but do I need the cupcake? Do I need the cupcake? I'm already getting the basic normal cupcake. Okay. And, oop. Well, I've spoiled it for myself. I know who we're getting there. So we're definitely not getting the complete set, because that is another fun time, Freddy. Uh, I don't really care about that, though. I'm getting enough of the people I do like, so as long, dupe, dupe, like I said before, I'm fine getting duplicates of Five Nights up for no other reason than I have so many friends who are into Five Nights, I always have people I can give it to. Nightmare, Bonnie looking great, I've all, out of all the nightmares, Bonnie is my favorite design, um, I like his whiskers, I like how his exposed chest kind of looks like a, like suspenders. Yeah, okay. Very good little figure. I can I can dig that. Nightmare Chica. Nightmare Chica. Looking more or less the same as normal Chica. <laughs> Just different eyes. But fine. They're good. Better than Phantom Chica. And then Nightmare Freddy. Oh no. It would have been cool if he had Freddles with him. But no Freddles. But still good. Still a good little Freddy. Really, the thing I like more about these figures really are the boxes. Like, especially knowing their little tricks now, those are great. And then the acrylics little shelf. When we're done opening everyone, I'll actually build up the shelf and we can all take a look at that. But now we only have one box left. All right, so we're completing our game one lineup because we got Foxy, Cupcake, Chica, and of course we have one more mystery. So we have one more chance to get someone new. I think all we're missing now is, uh, we're missing Nightmare Cupcake, and we're missing Springtrap. I want one of those more than the other. I'll let you figure out which is which. Uh, and... Do, 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 do. Throw the box off to the side. Ah, that's another Nightmare Foxy. Oh, well. So, no Springtrap. But at the same time, I don't need, need another William Afton. And I'm pretty happy with the figures we got. Oop, well... Foxy has already fallen out of the box, so we'll look at him first. I'm very similar to Nightmare Foxy. To be fair, I, I talked about this with Rubik's Cube. 
Foxy is already withered, so to me, Nightmare Foxy and especially Withered Foxy from F2 just don't work as designs because they're they're too samey. Like they're 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 just slightly more withered versions of this guy, whereas the other Withereds and especially the other Nightmares all look so different. I don't know. Cupcake. Cupcake is cute. I like this a lot, actually. Oh, wow. Look at that. Ready to go and eat someone's face. Let's see. Cupcake ate someone's face and Bonnie ate someone's cat. Is that right? Speaking of eating, here's Chica. Oh, they even remembered the let's eat on the bib. Oh, oh, that's cute. And I also dropped it. There we go. So there we go. And we, of course, have the new acrylic stand. Give me a minute. We're going to build these up and see what we think. So again, the shelf set up, and I do think this is a cute idea. I like it. Here's my big problem, though, is these shelves don't actually click together. They just kind of rest on top of each other, which means if you build up the shelf and then try to load it, they're going to fall off a lot. Um, that said, it does look cool. It's unique. It's a nice little thing. Would I recommend these guys? I'd recommend exactly two sets, the Nightmare set or the Sister Location set. And that is with the hope that you accidentally pull the Funtime Freddy or the Nightmare Foxy. They're the two most common ones, so I'm hoping you would, and then you would have complete groups. I don't know if I'd recommend the Game 1 sets, just because to get the full lineup, you'd need to buy two. And I don't know, man. These figures don't feel like bangs for the buck. They don't feel like they're super cool or unique or interesting. They feel like just smaller slightly more interesting versions of normal Funko Pops. I don't mean to be down on them. I think they're cool and I'm glad I had them, but I would not put them anywhere near the same level as I would say the Fight Line or even the normal Five Nights, normal Five Nights action figures. These guys are the definition of being fine.